Perhaps one of the biggest concerns brought up in today's meeting was on data privacy collection, how parents would confirm their identity without giving up too much personal information. The original bill before the amendment showed that you had to provide proof of your age and who you were. Well, that proof is from a government ID. The government ID is linked to you, your address, all your information, and also to your children, because your address is obviously their address. It's a very weak mechanism. Any teenager who knows uh, their, one of their parents' passwords for a bank or for their credit card or can get a hold of other information like that uh, can replay those credentials, can forge these uh, credentials to prove that they are over 18 and then browse as much porn as they want. It's not For quite some time now, we have been discussing this situation, and it's growing every day. The warnings that we are giving you are coming forward. These are the things that are happening. And you need to pay attention as a viewer, as a user of the internet, as people, depending on what country you're in. We're, we've been watching this throughout the world whether it's in Australia or New Zealand, uh, France, Germany, Spain, Russia, United Kingdom, and even in our own backyard of the United States of America, we're seeing a push to censor the internet, to take away your rights, especially coming forward in the United States lately. Other countries are beginning to fight back at this situation. You know, you hear about the Pirate Party. You're hearing about other... I mean, even people that have been trying to push for this legislation has realized the mistake that they're making. Take that, take that for a major example that an organization that was pushing for this has realized that... Wow, this is a big mistake. And now it's the time. This is the time we need to be sounding the alarm bells. This is the point. We have the point to stop this before it comes to flourishing. And the re the, what we're talking about is age verification rules. We've heard this from several states before. You know, places like Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Utah, Texas, Missouri, West Virginia. I mean, there is a group, uh, FSC, which is a free speech coalition uh, for the adult industry, uh, basically trying to stop some of these regulations that are being pushed. Uh, we have an article coming out on that, that basically there is an aggressive campaign going on right now and it's becoming stronger every day and a lot of these bills are bipartisan that's the problem right here nobody is really truly speaking up nobody's talking about it in the mainstream media it is us here on youtube and all the social media platforms and some smaller media outlets like um, XBiz, and also there is another, um, I think it's Tech News, or Te Tech Dirt has also been talking about this for quite some time now, and they've been giving fair warnings that these are coming closer and closer. And the thing about it is, you might say, well, it's just one state, one state. No, some of the writings of some of these bills, if they go effective, if it's gonna, one, it's going to violate the Constitution. It is going to violate the Constitution straight out. This, I expect to see a Supreme Court fight for this. For the reason is, some of these bills are written to the point where it will not only affect that state, it will affect all states, cross the board via the internet. And I've said before, age verification will not work. The only way you're going to protect any child from the internet is the parents have to monitor their children.
Stop blaming these sites. They've done the best they can to handle it the best way they can. They can't go any further without violating rules and regulations. There are plenty of rules and regulations, Section 230 and many others that are on the books and also constitutional laws in the U.S. and some other countries that it would violate. They can't go further than that. Now, what we're talking about today, this particular bill, it's coming out of Utah, and it has the hint behind it of it that uh, the... Um, it has a Mormon twist to it of the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as for some of these uh, politicians are of the Mormon religion. Out of XBiz, Utah Republicans continue to introduce controversial age verification bill. Before we read this into that, I also want to mention this is the time to subscribe to this channel. This is the time to get our verifications to support us here now that we can bring you these stories. This is the fight that we need to do. This is the war. And I told you this is coming. This is straight on coming. So make sure you, you subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure you pass this along. Pass this along to anyone you know. Pass At least five people you know, pass this along to them. Tell them this is coming. This is not any conspiracy, you know, x file type situation. No, this is in the root of reality. And it's always hidden in front of you all the time when situations like this. This is how a republic falls. When you lose your freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom, you know, the press, all of that stuff that you've enjoyed those of you who are in my age group, we grew up with this and we fought hard for this. And those of you just now getting into that age, you know, what, what I, I call the age of reason, where you begin to understand everything in the world. We're talking 18 and up, where you begin to understand what is truly going on. What are the, the realities and not the fiction that has been thrown to you by the mainstream media, your politicians, and those activists out there. Republican state legislator in Utah have introduced two controversial age verification bills that could have nationwide ramifications. Republican Jordan Teshur and Senator Michael McKell introduced HB 311 and SB 152 respectively. SB 152 would require social media companies to verify the age of any Utah residents seeking to use or create an account on social media platforms. The rule will take effect in January 1st of 2024. Moreover, should a platform determine that a user is a minor defined in both bills as anyone under 18, SB 152 would then require social media companies to give parents access to their kids' accounts, uh, reports Tech Size News Tech Dirt Mike Masnick who's closely covering the legal and free speech developments concerning the internet. Senator McKell's bill would enable the parent or guardian of any minor to monitor all posts the Utah minor account holder makes under social media platform accounts and all responses and messages sent to or by the Utah minors account holder. Masnick called the proposal law re requiring their websites hand over passwords ridiculous nothing that no website should be able to access passwords themselves they should be encrypted meaning that even if the website should have access to the passwords in any form that they could give to the parents sb 152 also mandates that the platforms prevent minors from accessing social media accounts between 10 30 p.m and 6 30 a.m HB 311 goes a step further, not only requiring age verification, but also forbidding anyone under six, under 16 from having any social media accounts. This is beyond stupid. Masnick commented, we already know how this works out. And it appears that no one in Utah legislature bothered to do, to do even the slightest amount of research. Most of these websites these days ban children under eight, 13, to avoid having to deal with 
the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPA. And because many of these services are still useful, even for kids, we've built a system where parents are teaching their kids to lie about their age. Of course, the Utah politicians pushing this will say that studies don't matter because with age verification, they won't be able to lie, Masnick ironizes. Free speech advocates of all political orientations are concerned about the recent attempts by a few Utah politicians to censor the internet. Section 230 expert Jess Myers of the Progressive, Progressive Chamber Think Tank and Shoshana Wiseman, digital director and fellow free market thinker of the Tank R Street Institute, concurred with Masnick about the dangers of the Utah proposals. HB 311, Myers tweeted, will force websites to perform age verification on all users. Yes, even including you who don't live in Utah and restricts teens from social media. Because state-by-state -state implementation is technological and feasible, Myers added, you should be expect it to be, will affect all users of any age from any location, both bills, HB 311 and SB 152, currently have a strong likelihood of passing. This is not a drill. Tech Dirt Massive concluded, the evidence-free moral panic over social media keeps getting stupider. When things get particularly stupid about the internet, you know they can pretty much rely on Utah politicians being there proudly to embrace the terrible ideas. And it's not only Utah, it's several other states as well. Understand this understand this and it's not only the uh christian religion you know we're dealing with mormons also we're dealing with many different religions that are you know that are the radical wing of a lot of these religions this is why you're starting to see a war within the vatican right now that's going on between the vatican and the church on the outside itself because of some of the things the Vatican have been pushing out. And this is the same thing with uh, uh, Latter-day Saints and many other groups out there. They're looking to block things. And, you know, there are some senators, congressmen, congresswomen that are looking just... I mean, you, you heard the other day, one congressman wants to, to uh, redefine the Miller's test. That would basically put us back pre-1973 and if you're familiar with what happened then George Carlin used to get arrested and uh, Lenny Bruce used to get arrested and many others because the obscenity laws that were throughout the country see this is they're trying to take away your freedoms my freedoms if you're in the United States you should be screaming at picking up that phone calling your politician, your local politician, saying, listen, what's going on in Utah is not what I want for, for my family, my friends, though, my neighbors around me. We don't want this. The United Kingdom is, is already almost there. They're just about there. And, you know, TechDirt put out a while back, as the U.S., U.K. embrace age verification, everyone, French data privacy, French were the ones, one of the first ones to start with this. Data Privacy Agency says age verification is unreliable and violates privacy rights. This is a constitutional nightmare coming forward at everyone. And you need, all of us need to speak up. And this is the truth. You, you need to speak up. As I said before, they're going to start with the porn. They're going to go after the anime. They're going to go after the manga. Then they're going to go after everything else. This is everything else now coming forward with this bill. This is going to violate a lot of constitutional law. This will be fought tooth and nail by certain people. Guarantee it. There are those, and like I said, there are those out there who are fighting to get this, realizing now that this is wrong. The privacy rights that this will affect, it will affect you. And the thing about it is, 
VPNs will not help at that point. Because if you have to identify yourself every time, yeah, you could fake, probably fake it a couple of times, but let me tell you something. They're also looking at face verification. Understand this law, if t- and this is the reason why we say TikTok needs to be shut down in the United States. If this law goes into effect and TikTok is not shut down, this will give the Chinese more information about you. Understand this. More information will be said. And facial recognition. We've already seen the misuse of it. We've discussed this. MSG Network, the MSG, Master Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall. We, we talked about that. That basically they've been using facial recognition to keep people out that they don't want to come use their um, complex, their, their facilities and all that. Because they happen to be suing them. They happen to be the lawyers. They're suing them. You know, this is, this is the thing that it is happening. You don't think that they will misuse facial recognition. You don't think they will misuse these laws. Of course they will. This is the Aurelian nightmare that has been coming forward for quite some time. I, you know, I keep saying this. Know who you are voting for. Know who you're voting for, really, truly, because you have people that will damage the Constitution. And this is on both sides. This is both sides. You know, we have to get people in office that will work for the people. So you have to understand that. And there are some out there. There are some out there that you may not agree with them but they respect the rule of law better than anybody else that is right now in the Senate, in the White House. You've seen what's going on. We have spy balloons. It is balloon! Over our country right now. Those balloons should have been shot down immediately as soon as they showed up on radar. I heard it was a regular person that shot it. I don't know if that's true. A regular person that shot it down. But it wasn't one balloon. I had multiple balloons, two, two or three at least. I don't care if they're weather balloons. They're not from our country. If we didn't launch them, they've come across, they get shot down. Because we don't know what they are. We are at a pinnacle moment in our history. For those of you not really truly understanding This is the fight for our Republic. If you live in the United States, for those of you outside, this is the fight for your freedoms. You may not have the same constitution as we do in the United States, but you do have something similar rights that are on there that are trying to be taken away on there. We've already seen Canada fall at this point, New Zealand, Australia is just about there understand that there are those who are going to hide behind saying we're here to protect the children we're here to protect you but they're not protecting you per se or your children they're protecting their assets their power their power to command you they want to tell you what to eat when to sleep when to work where you can travel, where you can shop, when you can buy things, they are controlling you. That's what they want to. And they want to come down all through the World Economic Forum, the WEF. That's, that's what they're looking at. We, we here in the United States are the last step. If the Republic falls, the rest of the world falls. There's already those fighting back. Places like Thailand right now that, that are right now about to launch a major lawsuit against Pfizer about what happened during the pandemic. That's one thing. And there are many other countries that are starting to turn around. The Fr- the French, Like I said, the French are saying, oh my God, I, I don't think we should do this. I don't think we should truly do this. The United Kingdom is almost there. It is almost there as far as as censorship in the internet. We can't let this happen. 
ladies and gentlemen. So please comment below and let me know your thoughts of the situation. Subscribe, a like, and most important, share this video. Whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, take this video and basically share it. At least five people. Because it's very, very important that you do. The war has begun for our own souls, for our own freedoms. Stay within the fight. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.